So this week we're out here with the 41st Transportation Company, Renegades, and we're conducting leader follower training, uh, putting PLS vehicles into a robotic state, which they can be manned or in a unmanned robotic state. Not only do they provide support to JRTC performing missions, uh, they're also one of two active duty medium truck companies. This unit has two platoons of 30 vehicles each. Uh, right now they have 60 trucks outfitted with the Expedient Leader Follower Autonomy Kit, which is the Army's largest fleet of robotic vehicles fielded and issued to the soldiers of the 41st Transportation Company. Training with this system started with the NCOs getting spun up and licensed on the BWAS capability, the Biowire Assist Kit that gives you that driver warning, driver assist features. From there, uh, we do the train the trainer, our licensed instructors, licensed examiners, on down train to, train to the soldier level. From there, we got our March Unit Commander training with safety drivers in the, in the trucks. And once we got proficient with our NCOs getting trained, our NCO trained the trainer, got the rest of the company trained up. And from there, we went to learning how to be a safety driver. So we can be both the March Unit Commander and the safety driver within a unit. And then until recently, the last two days, we've actually been conducting and training NCOs in the unmanned robotic portion. So actually leading a truck with an unmanned follower. The soldiers here at Fort Polk have been getting after truly unmanned autonomous operations, where no safety drivers are inside the cabs of the vehicles for over the last six months, logging over a thousand unmanned miles. The unit has ran multiple 25-mile missions using a one-manned leader vehicle with four completely unmanned follower vehicles. The goal is to combine multiple one to four serials with the convoy protection platforms or gun trucks, and eventually working up to support a completely unmanned squad size element of one leader and nine followers. With leader follower systems, commanders have the option to perform their missions either manned robotic or unmanned, depending on the type and classification of supplies. For example, Class 5 ammunition and explosives might be better suited for manned robotic, and Class 1 water and rations could go unmanned. The most that I liked about the system is the fact that uh, you're actually able to just robotically take over. Uh, it takes out the, the soldier that's inside the vehicle and it puts it in a robotic state in order to follow um, without any, any type of issues. I feel pretty beneficial. Uh, what, everything that we end up putting in, all of our feedback, all of our words, the process, uh, it, it is 20 steps further than where we were just a couple days ago. Being updated, uh, be able to see the truck, uh, actually having the commands that we were looking for and that can benefit us to focus more on what we need to do rather than how to do it, uh, it help, helps out a lot. 12 years in the military and a lot of the times I work with many different entities in terms of upgrading systems, and by far this is the one time with the leader follow program where the input is given and 72 hours later there is a result or a feedback from the from the company of what's going on. Um, I believe with the PMCS portion we gave, I think it was like on a Monday and by Friday they already had updates and then we were ready to go from there. So the turnaround point for our feedback is very, very quick on the aspect of the leader follower development for this training. This is a great program, we just need to be able to embrace it that way we can save lives on the battlefield nope. if this can go down that side or Daddy. even alleviate tire fatigue on drivers uh, being on the road for a long time we can actually now push our convoys a little bit farther because we have a leader follower by rotating out the drivers of tc bottom line what you see here today takes soldiers engineers and mechanics working shoulder to shoulder to simultaneously develop how we're going to fight this revolutionary new capability while shaping the very capability they are using to make it more effective. This is the future of ground vehicles and this team is making it real. The Leader Follower program has been the tip of the spear with allowing soldier operators provide real-time feedback that informs the development of capabilities before mass fielding. Ground Vehicle System Center has taken the S&T and DIRT concept to heart and has fully embraced the soldier's viewpoint into the design of a fully autonomous military vehicle.